Hello friends, this is Ali from Product Analytics Academy. Today we're going to learn how to make a chart that shows your daily, weekly, or monthly active users in the mix panel as displayed over here in this chart that shows weekly active users. I'm going to show you the simple way to build an active user chart, which is what you see here. Then I'm going to cover the special case of when you want to count active users as people who have done one of several different actions as opposed to just one. As always, I'm going to be using the media sample data set that comes for free with Mixpanel. And the sample data essentially represents a platform like YouTube. So it has actions like watch video, like comment and things like that. So let's get going. Let's we'll start by opening up a blank insights report. Then uh, the first thing we want to do is think through how we define an active user. You don't want to just have someone who like opens your app or arrives at your website. You want activation to be an action where they get some sort of value. So since this is sample data for something like YouTube, I'm going to pick the act of watching a video as what defines an active user. I'm going to pick my time range. Let's say I want it to be three months. Um, I want weekly active users. So I'm going to switch it from monthly to weekly. Now, the only thing I got to do, see over here where it says count total under the event name. Right now, it's counting how many videos have been watched. But what you want is how many people have watched videos. So if one, in one week, I have watched 10 videos. Right now, that's being counted 10 times, but you want it to count only once. So I'm going to come over here. And instead of total, I'm just going to select unique. And that's it. That's all you got to do. This now shows your number of weekly active users in the past three months where active is defined as anybody who watches a video. So there you go. That's the straightforward way to do it when active is defined as someone who does just one action. Now, the slightly more complicated method is for when you have multiple actions that constitute an active user. For example, let's say you want to account anybody who has watched a video or just liked a video or just commented on a video as someone who is active. So in that case, I need to create a custom event. And the way I do that is I click on the event name. Down here at the bottom of the drop down, it says create custom. Okay. It needs me to create a custom virtual event. So I'm going to say, here are the three things that I want to trigger this event watching a video, liking a video, or commenting on a video. Great. Now, this event, this virtual event, is going to get triggered anytime any of these three are triggered. Uh, and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to say activation event completed. That's what I'm going to call this. Um, here, I'll just call it activation event. And I'll just say custom. So it's clear that it's custom. And I'm going to save it. And there you go. That's all it takes. Now we have this custom activation event, which is triggered anytime someone watches a video, likes a video, or comments on one. And I'm counting the uniques. And this shows me my weekly active users under this scenario. So there you go. You can recreate this pretty easily in your own system. You just have to think through how you define an active user and either use the event for that or make a custom event for it. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about product analytics, check out the link in the description to a free course that teaches you how to set success metrics and KPIs for your product, which you can then use Mixpanel to measure and monitor. Thanks for tuning in and have a great rest of your day.